How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to be going over the pros and cons worth it or waste on the new Fire 7 tablet. Now this tablet is definitely going to get a lot of attention this Christmas season, especially because of the, the ridiculous price point is coming in at $49, which is basically the first pro I want to throw out there, which is that it's incredibly, incredibly inexpensive. But although it's inexpensive, it doesn't mean that it's a, it's a cheap product. They definitely have put a lot of their great features in here. And so I'm going to jump right in. And that's our first pro, which is this an amazing price, $49. Uh, it's almost a no-brainer buy when you think about it. But let me tell you some other reasons why this is a great product. So another pro is that this does have the micro SD slot, uh, which does come in right on the side right here. And so awesome part about that is you can expand the storage. So although it only comes with eight gigs of storage that's okay because again you can expand literally up to 128 gigabytes which is pretty freaking incredible so you could store a ton of movies on here music pictures just by buying an extra memory card you're in the game our next pro is going to be that um they've kind of adapted the operating system to be even more like Android. Obviously the base of this, if you didn't know, is Android. It's just, it has their Fire OS on it, which makes it look and operate a little bit differently. But um, when you swipe down, the notification panel basically looks more like Android versus before it had more of a Kindle look to it or just more of a, a different look that you were not used to. So more Android-like look, even they've kind of adapted the buttons to look more like stock Android. So kind of cool um next pro is going to be hey, we've got our two megapixel uh rear camera and our vga camera on the front now granted not the best cameras right but that's okay it's nice to be able to have a front camera and a rear for you know using you know video type apps being able to kind of stream and interact with your friends. Like an app that you can download on here is Periscope and you can check out my video where I'll show you how to get Periscope on here because it's not in the Amazon app store, but it is available in another app store which I show you how to download and how to get that app. So definitely check out that video as well. Um, so it also does have HD video recording, which is really cool too. So you can record, you know, like a basic video or whatever. Obviously, for 50 bucks, don't expect ridiculous quality, but it does record in HD, and that's pretty awesome. A next pro, and this is something I just found recently, if you swipe down from the top here, and we go to the settings, or not the settings, excuse me. If you go to the camera section, they have this new built-in photo editor, which is really cool, just to show you, let's say this picture right here, right? If we open this picture up nice and big, come to the top, tap on the little pin and there's actually a full photo editor built into the camera now. So you've got all, all kind of features like effects, frames, stickers, crop tool, um, filters, you can add text, um, you can add all kind of fun stuff. And I love this cause it just, it keeps it really simple, but you don't have to have all these extra third party apps in order to edit your photos. It's literally all built into the operating system and just kind of gives you a really smooth and seamless experience. So um, that's another one of our pros right there. Now our next pro is um, the standby time. My goodness, guys, I've been so impressed with this tablet because it's got this new feature called Smart Suspend, just to show you where it is. If we swipe down, go to settings, and then we're gonna go to, I believe it's device options. It is not device options, that's all right. Power, that's what it is. You go to power, you're gonna go to smart suspend. And with this new feature, when this is turned on, the tablet will automatically turn off Wi-Fi to conserve battery. So most of the time we just leave Wi-Fi on all the time because we're always searching for new emails or going online, but think of all those hours of the day that you're not using the tablet and what tends to happen. You come back to the tablet and it's dead because Wi-Fi has been sitting on, it's draining the battery. Even when you, like most people don't know this, when you leave your house and you're not connected to Wi-Fi, if Wi-Fi is on, then the tablet is constantly searching for a Wi-Fi signal. And the problem with that is it drains the hell out of the battery. So with this, it automatically turns off Wi-Fi, which 
vastly, vastly stretches the battery. Just for example, I charged it overnight. This morning I unplugged it. I didn't come back to shoot this video until almost 17, 18 hours later and the tablet was still on 100%, which is freaking incredible. Uh, that means that you can literally put this tablet down and guess what? Maybe you don't use it every day. Maybe you use it every couple of days, maybe even once a week. When you pick that tablet up in a week, you're going to be able to use it versus a lot of the other tablets. If you put it down for a week, what happens is once you pick it up, it's dead. It's on 5% and you're like, I haven't even used it. Why is it dead? So this technology is really awesome and I love it because it just really allows you to not have to think about charging all the time. So great feature there. Definitely wanted to shout that out. Um, you do have some abilities to mirror. So you can mirror your tablet to like a fire stick or a fire TV. Like you can mirror a video, for example, if, if you're using Amazon prime video. So that's another pro right there. And, um, those are just kind of some of the basic, you know, basic things that I liked about it. And so those are the pros and let me jump over to the con section. So, Oh, one more pro, excuse me, before I forget, if we go to the keyboard, you do have an option and it, make sure you watch the video of the, the 10 hidden features of the fire seven tablet. And you'll see, I'll show you how to get the emoji, uh, on the keyboard. So really cool. It doesn't come like that. You do have to make a couple of adjustments in the settings, but you can make it so you have the emoji uh, shortcut right there in your keyboard. So uh, again, those are the pros. If we jump to the cons, the, one of my big cons was that there was no voice to text option uh, on previous tablets. You could make it so you had the microphone and you could basically say what you wanted to type and it types it for you. And I guess they kind of left that off because of the price point and maybe the higher tablets have it, but it's kind of disappointing. I was looking forward to being able to have that as well as the emojis on the keyboard, but it is what it is. Um, the next con is going to be that the, the screen is not the best quality one. It's not an HD screen. Um, so resolution isn't incredible. Like again, all this stuff looks pretty good, but like you're not going to really be able to watch videos in HD as well as the screen really does attract a lot of fingerprints. So you're going to have to wipe the screen off a lot to keep it clean. Um, it's, it's a real magnet for that. And even to, to talk more about design, the backing of this tablet is just like a plastic material and it's a little slippery. So like you're definitely going to have to get a case for this because this backing doesn't grip very well in my opinion. So, and again, like for 49 bucks, you're going to have a little extra money to spend. Just go out and pick up a case just so you make sure you don't drop yours and mess it up. Right. Uh, next con is with the screen mirroring. I, I sort of touched on this before you can mirror videos and music, but you cannot mirror the whole screen. Whereas on previous models, you were able to mirror the whole screen and see it on your TV. So you're, you're very limited in what you can mirror. And so that, that was kind of a con because you know, you may want to have a game, show your angry birds on the TV or whatever, and you don't have the ability to do that. So that is a con right there. Our next con is, although I was able to kind of do some workarounds to get Instagram because Instagram isn't available in the Amazon app store, uh, Instagram and Periscope, I was able to get on the tablet, but what I was not able to get is Snapchat, the official Snapchat app. Um, unfortunately that is not available at all for the tablet. It does require Google services. And so even the, the separate app store I downloaded, it still wouldn't allow me to use Snapchat, even though I was able to get it on the tablet. So like I was a little disappointed by that. And I don't know why Snapchat hasn't built a official app for the Amazon store yet, because you got this great front camera, which totally could be utilized by the app, which is one of the most popular apps uh, out there. But, um, anywho, it's fine. Just sucks. You don't have that, but you still do have Instagram. You have vine, Periscope, Facebook, all the other ones are there. Just no Snapchat ability. So just keep that in mind, guys. I know some of you guys would probably buy it just if it had that one feature. So, um, Anywho, that's it. That's, those are all the cons that I had. Overall, the question is worth it or waste? And I have to say, uh, this product is worth it, but it's worth it for a, a very select group of people. This is, this is for first time tablet users. 
if you're there's someone in your family maybe a kid and you want to get them like a little tablet to get started this is a great buy maybe you have a grandparent who's never had a tablet and you want to get them something to play some games on or or read the news or whatever this is a great first purchase for someone like that however if you've already had a tablet this is probably not the best jump for you because it's not a it's not an upgrade it's an entry level it's a hey this is <coughs> Excuse me. It's like, hey, this is, you know, a great starting point, and from here you would jump into like the nicer tablets. So, just wanted to point that out. I don't think it's a crappy product. It's not a cheap product. Again, you can do a whole lot with it. Uh, it does have its limitations because there is a better version of it out there. But for forty nine dollars, you just can't beat it. And this is going to be a great Christmas present you're going to be able to find for somebody. So, anyway, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to H2Tech Videos. And uh, take care. Have a good one.